Howdy team. What we're going to work on today is learning about Gmetrics. Gmetrics is a training tool for the Microsoft Office certification exams. So let's get started. Okay team, we want to go to South Plains College, but we want to put view in the beginning of that. So we're going to type view dot like a period, South Plains College. And you do want to make sure you end that with .edu. Then we hit enter. Today I'm recording on a Mac. I wanted you to be able to see that part of the strength of the VMware that South Plains College uses is it allows you to log into a South Plains College computer and to use the software that's on that computer. It is slower, um, but you can use Microsoft Office Access database on a Macintosh computer without having Windows 10 installed. So you can use this first choice which downloads the software called VMware to your computer and you can launch off that or you can use the HTML access. We're going to use this today. It launches us onto an internet connection into another computer. You've already gone to southplainscollege.edu so now what you want to do is use your normal username and password that you would use to log into any South Plains College computer. Mine happens to be D. Lewis. That's my username. And then I'm going to type my password. And once I've done that, I click login. This will take a few moments. And then it gives me the choice of logging into a desktop that is a Windows 10 desktop or a desktop that's not Windows 10. I advise you to choose Windows 10 for our activities in Gmetrics. I'm going to click V10 desktop and now the computer is going to reach out to a South Plains College computer and say welcome to Daphne. There it is Daphne L. Lewis welcome aboard and we're going to get you logged in. to the VMware. I got this error. It says your computer is not private. That's true. You are sharing your computer across the domain at the South Plains College. So if you click advanced and you go to proceed to southplainscollege.edu, it'll be fine. Now realize this is going to take a minute. This is like waking a computer up. It's opening up that Windows 10 computer at the South Plains College campus and it's connecting it to your computer. However, it's not installing these pieces of software you actually will be using, whether it's Excel, Access, or other Microsoft Office applications or other applications on the computer at a distance. So here's my computer down here and here is the computer that I'm logging into at a distance. And again, speed is not part of the situation. We're now going to go to Google Chrome. I prefer Google as a browser. You may use whatever you want, but sometimes Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer will cause challenges, especially in an online learning environment. So. Um, we're going to wait for Google to open up here. I'm going to type in Gmetrics. So I typed in G-M-E-T-R-I-X. Okay. So we're going to go to Student Portal. 
and its student portal, we need to sign up for a Gmetrix account. If you already have an account from a previous course, maybe you took um, Word for business majors, you would not need to do this step. So we go to sign up here and fill in all this information. So we successfully created an account for Don Davis. We're going to sign in. Sign in. And now we're at Quick Start. And I clicked over to the left Geometrics blue icon and I clicked the pull down menu. Now we want to come to redeem a code. There are codes listed for each one of you. Um, these codes are purchased for the college. So we're going to click redeem a code and I'm going to type that code in now. Oh, one of the other things you need to know is that there are no restrictions on capitals and lowercase numbers. I found that out today. So you don't need to worry about whether you type a capital with a letter or not. I am going to respect the dashes, so we'll see how this goes. And once I enter that code, oh, it look at, see it underlined in red, but that just means a misspelling. Let's see if it redeems the code. I click redeem a code. And now it says take test. We are going to be working on Microsoft Office 2016 this semester. I click that. And then the code we're going to be working with is Excel. I click, and that's the first test. And this is the second test. Our class covers both exams. We just finished studying for this one, which is why I'm sharing these codes. I strongly suggest working through this one this first week and then this next week working through the Excel expert. I'm going to click Excel. And now you'll see we have an, a practice exam, two practice, three practice exams, core reviews, which are concepts, skill review, a project review, and a project review. I suggest, I like the training mode because it corrects you as you're going, especially the first couple of times that you um, are working with Geometrics. Using the training mode lets you go in there. And now it says, open Geometrics, please wait while you open Gmetrics and download the Gmetrics SMS. And that is the skills management system. There are test resources that need to be downloaded in order to take this test. Would you like to download and install them? I'm going to say OK. And it is installing the entire Excel. I say OK. And again, this is happening through the VMware. So it is happening on a South Plains College computer. You could actually probably do this even on a tablet. I would suggest doing it on a full computer. Now we're on first question. I want you to see this bottom area. Getting comfortable with this bottom area will get you comfortable with the test. So you don't have to necessarily read about the overview and that we're working on the scuba diving concession. So what we're going to do is use task number two as our example. Change the worksheet tab color of sheet one to blue. So we left click sheet one, which is our name for our worksheet. We right click and then we go to tab color. And when it says blue, you just come down to standard colors and see which one when you mouse over makes it blue. But it also says, ooh, wow, look, 
accent to darker 25. So we found blue, but we need to come up here a little bit. That's green. Blue, accent to darker 50%, accent to darker 25%. We click that. It turns our sheet one blue. It did not ask us to change the name. Now, we've completed this task. We want to click Mark Completed because we're not going to come back. We know we got it right. And we go Next Task. And it flips us over here to Task 3. Copy the content of the new inventory worksheet and put it in the table on the boats worksheet. Maybe you don't know how to do that. Don't spend a lot of time. You have seven tasks and seven projects. Well, this one has five tasks. So click Mark for Review, which gives you this little yellow icon to come back to and go on to the next task so you complete it. Once you're done, you hit Save Project, and then you go on and you go to the next project. So I wanted you to see how it looks um, let's go ahead and see how we get to the next project. So let's just say I finished all this. I go next task and I save my project. Are you sure you want to save and exit this practice test? Oh, I don't want to exit. I want to keep going. I could save and come back later. I don't want to exit. So I want to go to next task. Oh, I bet I have to hit grade project. So it graded the project. I didn't do very well. I got two correct and I missed three. But I want to keep going because like I told you, there's seven projects. So I click Next Project. And here it is, Fishing Supplies. So now you know how it is to get started, to take a look at your task and the different things you can complete. This is a great study tool. I hope you enjoy learning and preparing for the Microsoft Office Specialist Excel exam.